All right, this is a video I've been thinking about for quite some time, and I've really been waiting for the right time to actually do it. And the right time was after I had cleaned my rifles. Um, so last night, I, had, I was running the numbers and saw that I had just over 200 rounds on this, my 6mm Creedmoor rifle, and another one of my precision rifles. So I went through and I did a complete carbon scrub of the barrel and chamber on both rifles. And since I had done that, and I've been thinking about this video, I wanted to, to do an experiment or a test. I've always heard and been told that carbon fouling improves accuracy and it totally makes sense as to why. If you follow any sort of bench rest, um, you know that the way, they, the way they shoot for groups is they will shoot, they clean, they run a dry patch through their bore after every string of fire and then before they start shooting for record, they shoot one fouling shot every time. And that fouling shot is just to put carbon back in the bore, um, fill in all the spots that may not be completely perfect and concentric inside the bore and tighten everything up. And if you know anything about precision rifle, you know that everything being tight and concentric is the key to accuracy. So, and also in F class, there are certain times when we do fouling shots. It's not uh, nowhere near as prevalent as it is in bench rest, but there are certain occasions where you'll do what's called a fouling shot. And it's more really in F class, it's not really usually a fouling shot. It's more of a cider. That's, they give you a reason to do it, to shoot a cider, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but anyway, I've always been told that and always heard and, and it makes sense like I said that when you shoot a or when you have carbon fouling built up in your bore to a point it's going to be more accurate and there's also a point where it's diminished your accuracy is diminished um, and that's after you get too much carbon build up obviously it can start to really diminish your accuracy so like I said usually around 200 rounds I've found with with this my six millimeter rifle and one of my other rifles that right around 200 rounds is usually the point where I start to see a little bit of diminished accuracy. So I try to uh, clean them around 200 rounds. I also notice that after 20 rounds, I really start to get that accuracy back, especially in this rifle. And then after about 50 to 70 rounds, I really it really tightens up. And from 70 to about 120 are the most accurate rounds most accurate shots that this thing will shoot between cleanings so there's especially if you're shooting competition you, you kind of keep track of those things so you know you know where to have your rifle in the cleaning cycle before you take it to a competition but I've never even though I know all this I've never actually seen it with my own two eyes so today that's what I wanted to do I wanted to do an experiment or a, a test to, to prove that to myself and to anybody else that, that's watching. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take my six millimeter Crete Moore, completely clean bore, completely clean chamber, and we're gonna shoot a five shot group with no fouling in it whatsoever. Then immediately after that, we're gonna shoot another five shot group um, with only five fouling shots. Now those five fouling shots may not even be enough, I don't know to uh, tighten everything up and give it the accuracy that I'm used to with this rifle. But I wanna see if, if I get the accuracy increases as the, as the barrel starts to foul. So in theory, we should be able to shoot five shots, should be the worst shots that this thing will shoot in its cleaning cycle. And then the five shots after that should be a tighter group. So that's what we're going to test today and it's, this has always baffled me and for one, the probably the, the shot that I've done that I was the most proud of and it probably my one of my most impressive shots that I've ever done was a 1200 yard cold, 1210 yard cold bore shot on a can of Mountain Dew and something I don't think I said in that video was that was the very first shot that when I hit that can of Mountain Dew, that was the very first shot after a cleaning. And I was able to dial it all in 
and it dialed exactly where it was supposed to and put first round on the can. So I guess today we'll find out if maybe that was a fluke or if it maybe the carbon buildup doesn't matter as much as I thought it did. So hope y'all enjoy this. I'm going to take you guys along with me today for an experiment. Uh, it's not much of an experiment because I think this has been proven before, but I've never seen a video on it. And on top of that, I can be told things, but I like to see it for myself before I truly believe it. So we're going to dive into carbon fouling. Every 200 rounds or so, I clean my barrels. And just last night, this was, I cleaned this barrel with my normal cleaning method. And we got a completely clean, got a completely clean uh, patch here on this jag. I'm gonna run it down here, my six millimeter. Just to show you guys that this is a clean barrel. Very, very little carbon fouling, if any. So, this is a clean barrel, virtually no carbon fouling. We're going to shoot two groups. We've got 10 rounds here of my normal hand load, 108 grain ELDMs on 4831 powder. A really accurate load this thing in this rifle normally groups three eighths or under now i've never but i've never i was thinking about this yesterday when i was cleaning it i have never attempted to group this rifle or really any of my rifles with less than probably less than 20 rounds through the barrel um more than anything because what I've always been told and what I've always heard is that rifles really don't start grouping until they get carbon fouling built up. So that's what we're getting ready to find out. Now we're not going to do 20 rounds. We're going to do a five shot group the way it is now. No fouling in the barrel, completely clean bore. And then we're going to do another five shot group immediately after that with the five shots of fouling in the bore and see if there is what if any difference we get in the amount of in the amount of accuracy with unfouled to a fouled bore First off, I can tell you that that's not where my zero typically is. Okay, and it is, this rifle never spreads them out like that, that does not happen. Okay, and now is it starting to group after those first couple of shots? Uh, 
Now oh, that seemed kind of funny. It seemed like after those first two shots, it started to group. So we've got the, that is our completely unfouled group. Now we're going to get a better group than that with five rounds through the barrel, or do we need more than that to build up carbon fouling? Still not anywhere near the accuracy that I get after 20 shots. But if that doesn't tell you something, and I imagine if I was to keep going, we're going to keep fouling this out. And after about 20 shots, this thing will shrink up to 3 8 inch groups, 3 8 to quarter inch groups. I mean, it just stacks them on top of each other. With this load and this rifle, that's what it does. But that's pretty interesting there. Besides the one that went far right, which was probably my fault more than anything, because I do believe I, I wasn't quite lined up when I let loose of that one. It kept them all right there in a tight little pattern. So we'll go down, we'll measure these up, and we'll see the difference here. Well, all right. I think this is what we would call a result. Um, now, also, before before I say anything, I do want to say that fourth shot, um, I went ahead and measured it up with and without it. I did pull that. When I let loose the shot, I knew I was about a quarter inch off to the right, and that's exactly where it went. So, as far as our result goes, I wouldn't count that in there. So... Anyway, let's start. Let's let's talk about this from beginning to end. So, very first shot was way off from where everything else grouped. Um, first shot ended up way up here, and then if you notice, as the uh, fouling started to accrue in the barrel, it started to move down to where the group actually is. Um, so that first shot was a good almost half inch above the actual group. Um, total group size, and if you notice also, the first two shots were not very accurate. And then after that, it started to group. So for, uh, after the first two fouling shots, the groups really tightened up. So total group for the unfouled five shot group is 0.832 now moving over here to our 
after five fouling shots, which like I've said, I've never shot this rifle with anything less than 20 rounds through the barrel for, for a group. And pretty happy with that. Either way, 0.335 inch, so right at the 3 eighths of an inch, which is what I expect out of this rifle, anywhere between quarter and three eighths of an inch. And if you, even if you count the shot that I threw, you're looking at 0.559 inch, so just over half inch. So either way, even if you count that, which I'm going to be honest, I am human. Every once in a while I mess up. I don't shoot perfect groups all the time. And that is one of them. And I, I threw that shot. But if you look at this, we've got a just over half inch group compared to a almost seven eighths inch group. So a very big difference there in size of the group. And then if you take out the shot that I threw, you're looking at what this rifle shoots every time which is three eighths to quarter quarter minute groups. So I think that's a, a good definitive result that tells me uh, what I've always what I've always heard but have never tested for myself. So I hope you guys got something out of this. I know I did and I'll see you guys next time.